This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. Osiris tells me it's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. It seems they have found a way to harness our energy against us. And even in all his wisdom, Osiris can offer no solution. I don't know what will happen if we can't break the Vex's hold over the city. I do know that we must protect our people, no matter the cost. The Vex are machines, and no one understands machines better than the Elixir. Osiris and I can only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, Kel of House Light. My spies report he claims to be among the last sacred splicers, those with the power to commune with machines. He may be our best and only hope. Find him, Guardian, before the Vex do. It's been a long time, Guardian. My hidden report that Mithrax was last seen on Europa, helping Varix evacuate Elixni defectors. Both the Vex and Aramis's loyalists are down there hunting for survivors, shooting anything that moves. Be sure to shoot back. We need Mithrax alive if he's to help us with our Vex problem. You're closing in on some residual signals. It could be Elixni bound for House Light. Or it could be more of Aramis's loyalists. Clear the Vex and introduce yourself to the survivors. Make it known you're not a threat. Unless you need to be. Empty. The Elixni cleared out before the Vex showed up. See if you can learn where they're headed. Over their positions. Trigger, message repeat. This is Misrax. To those who renounce the violence of House Salvation and seek refuge in the House of Light. I will be landing a skiff near Asterian Abyss. Bring only what you need. We must prioritize survivors over their positions. Trigger, message repeat. Asterian Abyss. That's their rendezvous point. A single skiff recently touched down near your position. It's got to be Mithrax. Hurry, Guardian, before he takes off. Mithrax is wrapped up in some dangerous business. It's a bad time to ask for a favor, but he and his House of Light still worship the Traveler. That heat signature. Flames. Someone brought down the skiff. Quick now, secure the crash site and assist the survivors, if there are any. The Vex took down the ship and ambushed the Elixir defectors. There are bodies in the snow. Nothing can be done for them now. Mithrax must have let a few survivors out, but they're completely exposed. Eyes up. Move. You're close, and I'm picking up unusual energy spikes ahead. Be ready for anything.
Many enemies pursue my house of light. They did not wish to be found. Then times are desperate for us both. The Vanguard seeks your assistance. I am aware. Rex systems pulse the talk of the city's endless night. But my people demand much protection. If this Guardian could assist me in blinding the Vex here, we can speak without risking all bloodshed. Blinding the Vex. My Guardian will do whatever you need. I have opened the door for you, Guardian. Did you send them into a Vex simulation? The path before them is no illusion. The Guardian ventures through the Vex domain itself, where the machines guard their most precious secrets. I will clear the way. You will free through space. None but our most skilled splicers can even perceive. The light shines strong within you. Hold fast, Guardian. I will alter the fabric of this Vex system to aid you. You are farther than I have ever been. Find the Vex Curator. Destroy it and claim the living code woven through its core. You must flee. Now. Do not fall in that lightless place. Another power works against me, pushing back. This is troubling. The system is collapsing. Hold strong. I will create another exit. Vex signals are dissipating from your region. They're leaving. Yes. With the core you hold, the secrets of the Vex reveal themselves to us. To study such an artifact would benefit us both. But there is no time. My people must move on if we hope to survive. Mithrax, I saw those who wished to join you dead in the snow. Let them be the last to fall. Come. Shelter in our city. You and your people. I call a kill. Can you offer the Elixir such a thing? I just did. You'll be under the Vanguard's protection. The Vex are the enemy here. And any Lightbearer who disagrees can take it up with me. Then we accept. With light in our hearts. We will join you in your city. Beneath the Traveler. My people shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend the welcome. I am Osiris. And this is Lakshmi too, future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. There are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead, and they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves.
The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of decree and democracy. I hope your stay with us will be uneventful. As do I. Alexni houses are more than tribes for sharing work and resources. They also represent living philosophies. In many ways, the House of Light is traditional. We worship the Great Machine, and we embrace ancestral roles like splicers and scribes. But in other ways, we're different. My father, Mizrax, is Kel of our house, but he does not act as past Kels. He does not take more than his share of ether, and he does not punish by docking limbs. These are radical, but popular ideas in our house. However, Mizrax Kel also believes in peace and cooperation with humanity. This is less popular. Everyone in our house has seen Elixni killed by guardians. Not just warriors, but innocents and hatchlings. I lived for many years among the Awoken, and understand that humans do good things as well. Sometimes. But the others in the House of Light have not been so lucky in their allies as I have. It will take time to earn their trust. Here lies the remnants of Kel's Scourge, a dark period in Elixni history. After the whirlwind, many Elixni were overcome by feelings of hopelessness. They were homeless, hungry, and hunted by guardians and hive alike. So when Civics founded Kel's Scourge, promising to return Elixni to power with ancient weaponry, many were drawn to his call. Though the Scourge claimed to fight for Elixni empowerment, in reality, they represented the final degradation of our culture. A once great interstellar civilization was reduced to an anarchist mob, led by a power-hungry coward. Let ours be a cautionary tale. No matter how enlightened a culture, there are always those who prey on our worst impulses for their own gain. Many Elixni spend their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer and my mother is a catch. <laughs> After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixni began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us, and a real sky above. During our Golden Age, the Elixni civilization spanned many star systems, farther than humanity could imagine. And in all of our exploration, we never found anything more wondrous than the Great Machine. It's one of the few things that all Elixni houses can agree on. That's why shrines like these are made of many small pieces. Each bit was added by a different house. It's a tradition that lasted generations. Most of those houses are now extinct, and their members are scattered. It's funny. I revered the Great Machine all my life, without ever having seen it. And now that it's right overhead, 
I still look to this shrine for comfort. Some Elixni tell hatchlings that these wards keep guardians from attacking us in our sleep. We know this is not true, of course, but it helps hatchlings to rest peacefully. Soon enough, they must learn that the guardians cannot be stopped by such things. That they cannot be stopped at all, even by death. After that, the war changes meanings. For grown Elixni, it's a reminder that the great machine blesses life givers and killers alike. But now that we have seen the guardians among their own people, taking orders, and making awkward small talk. I don't think this tradition will continue in the House of Light. We no longer see guardians as monsters, just people, frightened and misguided. Hello, my name is Ido. My father is Mizrax, Kel of our house. I took my name from his first awoken friend, Sierra Ido. As scribe for the House of Light, it's my job to preserve our house's history, so that hatchlings may one day learn our stories. Mizrax Kel requested that I leave some records for the humans of the last city, so they might learn about Elixni culture in their own time. As he says, Inside a catch, everyone breathes the same air. Though I have doubts that the humans will care to hear our stories, the snipers who look down on us do not seem like the curious types. But the great machine has chosen them, so I must give them the benefit of my faith. Hopefully this effort does not go wasted. Humans think of Aether as food for Elixni, a form of sustenance. That's only partially true. Aether also catalyzes physical maturation and promotes molting. In that sense, it's like hormones in human adolescence. In a world of unlimited ether like Rees before the whirlwind, all Elixni look like captains. That's our final form. Most Elixni you see now are underdeveloped. They're forever stunted by ether rationing which began as a necessity, and gradually evolved into a mechanism of social control. Now, ruthless leaders like Spider use the distribution of ether to keep their followers dependent. If Elixni are ever to live in peace, we must make ether available to all, regardless of rank. This Shank has been with us for many years. She is temperamental, but loyal. She's in need of constant repair, but we're used to it. Our house has fixed every part of her, from sensors to exhaust. So when I look at her, I don't see an object. I see the members of my house. I see myself. To us, Machines are vessels, not just tools. This is why scrap working is so important to Elixni culture. It's a way of sharing our spirit with the world, even when we have nothing. I'm sure that Guardians feel the same way about their tower. It's more than a hollow form, more than the rubble it was built from. The tower is the keeper of the vanguard spirit, and you would defend it more fiercely than any other building. Is it not so? I discovered this shell among spider supplies. Many elixir fear guardians, but delight at your ghosts. We think of them as extensions of the great machine's will, deserving of reverence. When we arrived here, we were surprised to discover that many Guardians treat their ghosts like equals. Or worse, like servants. Guardians throw their lives away for sport, in games like Crucible or Gambit. 
taking the miracle of resurrection for granted. As if ghosts needed the humans and not the other way around. Elixni have had their blessings from the Great Machine, it's true. But we've never known the power that ghosts grant humanity. I think that if Lixni became guardians, we would use the light to serve the Great Machine, not our own amusement. Can't say I'm enjoying lying low, Commander. Reminds me of the old days. But, hey, I'm nothing if not good at following orders. If it was my choice, I'd be there helping you get the Elixni settled in the city. Might be hard to believe, but they're more like us than you think. Just... Give them a chance. Like you did for me. Velasque. That's how they say hello. Just so you know. Guardian, I greet you in the light. It is I. Mithrax, or Mithrax, as your people say. I speak to you through a servitor we liberated from the House of Salvation. It fuels our camp now, turning raw matter into the ether we need to survive. I will use it to study the Paradrome Cube you recovered from the Vex. In this way, it will provide for us both. We are settling into your city. You may have seen the work of the House of Light scribe Ido, my daughter. She has been creating a chronicle of our journey. But there will be time for that later. This city holds great scholars and warriors. Ikora, Osiris, Lakshmi too, even the Saint. They have agreed to aid in your fight against the machines, and I will be your guide. I am a sacred splicer, one who can touch the light rippling through the Vex networks. For the light is all. The wind through the grass, and the motion of galaxies. In this way, I can see into the Vex domain. But you, your abilities might grow beyond mine. I have prepared something for you. A splicer gauntlet. The first made for a non elixne The ether it pulls from defeated foes will let you override the Vex signals. Push back and enter the machine domain as you did on Europa. Bring me data from within, and together we will discover its secrets. Fight bravely. Free your people from this endless night. Following a fallen into battle makes my trigger finger itch. Watch your back, Guardian. Mithrax has located a back door to the Vex domain. Get your foot in that door and secure the data. Back are inbound on your position. Hold your ground and guard the connection. The Vex network is working in the layers. We'll provide the passcode to gain deeper access. The machines spawn collect their forces. Gather your light and prepare for battle. Vex defenses have been reset, but like circuits, they can be overloaded. Continue the assault. Judging by the Vex response, your fancy splicer glove is working. Keep at it! Do not let the machine spawn divert your attention. Keep it fixed on the terminal. I can practically hear the Vex gears grinding. They cannot stop you, but they will still try. The network bends to the will. It cannot resist for much longer. I can feel the Vex mind stirring. It is aware of your presence. 
been some time since you and I have worked together. That's going to change. As internal affairs falls under my purview, you'll be reporting to me for this operation. Mithrax has kept his promise. His splicers work tirelessly to decode the data you pulled from the Vex network. Zavala and I have every confidence that this was the right decision. Years of hidden operations coming to fruition in our time of need. The Elixni would say, the great machine provides. But if Osiris hadn't suggested we contact Mithrax directly, all our outreach could have been wasted. Guardian, we are all made to believe that loss is how we grow. It took me decades to see that it is not the pain we learn from, but the risk, the chances we take, and the strength to see them through. Here in the city, every new life can begin in peace. Without fear, without loss, we need only set aside the past. While you're in the field, I've asked Saint-14 to oversee the Elixni settlement. If we can turn the Kellbreaker into an advocate for House Light, then others will follow. I hope he's feeling generous. Where the darkness seeks to divide us, we need only offer out a hand. When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secure location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi II of the future war cult, and I'm here to offer my assistance, because you need it quite badly. The future war cult has long used Vex-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future, Guardian. What I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The vanguard would rather protect its image than its people. And so I will handle things myself. We can change this future, stop it from happening while I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well... When I foresaw the Red War, they laughed until Gaul bound the Traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. I have felt your conflicts with the Vex from here. 
And your victories. This area is a crossroads. Many threads connect this city to the Vex. They seek to use their simulation to drain the light from this place. Bend it to their will. Just as you seek to disrupt their network. But while you fight for survival, their motives are... unclear. The network connection cannot be broken without destroying your city. Both are bound now. And one must fall for the other to survive. But there is hope. Every Vex you destroy sends ripples across this false dark sky. I do not know how many must fall to end the simulation they have created, but the data they guard hides the answer. We will study it together. This is my word in the light. The last city has always been a place of refuge. For centuries, the vulnerable have found shelter and security under the watchful eye of the traveler. Now, it seems that includes following. Once they siege our walls, and now my core array throws open the gates. A charitable act from a compassionate leader. But is it the right thing to do? Can we really spare the energy and resources to shelter our enemies while we are under Vex attack? Can we afford to extend a peaceful hand to those who might bite it? As leader of the future war corps, I have foreseen violence and strife within our walls. This is not the first time. I warned you all of gold before the Red Legion took our city during the Red War. I am warning you again now. Are these newcomers the cause of our visions? That we do not yet know. What we do know is that the Vanguard owes the people an honest, transparent explanation. Before I opened my doors to Guardians, I watched you thrash through your collective existence. Loss never so much as hindered your destructive stride. The Red War, a Vanguard's death, mere hiccups. Back then, I judged you as callous. I assumed it was easy for you to rebuild because your condition makes you incapable of caring about anything ephemeral. Now, I find myself in a dark hour, and I must admit I am envious of your tenacity. The Black Armory was founded to stand against the coming shadow, but when the darkness returned and our defenses faltered, my work made no difference. Humanity's focus shifted to the stars, and now the forges are gone. If I hope to maintain the Armory's legacy, it's clear I must build something new. The fallen refugees who fled Europa tell of some unfinished Braytech research on matter programming. I believe it could be a new start for the Armory. I've used the Vanguard network to download as much as I can, but some branches can't be accessed remotely, and Europa remains a dangerous front for the Lightless. I need you to enter the Braytech facilities and download the data manually. Look for a terminal with elevated access protocols. There might be one in the nearby offices. I'm receiving data now. Oh, this is incredible work, and well annotated. So that's how they solved for diatomic partitioning, and the macrofusion blending is just... <clears throat> Apologies. It's just exciting to see the final pieces in front of me. There's a component listed here, some sort of processing unit to calculate the threading algorithms. Looks proprietary. See if your ghost can scan for it based on these parameters. I doubt we'll be able to recreate another one. And none of this will work without it. 
Yes, that's it. Meet me back in the armory hall and we'll see what this puzzle looks like when finished. Hello. Approach. I have no time for shyness. Incredible. I felt confident in my interpretation of their schematics, but to see it actually working is something else entirely. When I used to think about the armory, about my responsibility to it, the weight was almost unbearable. Even in this body, I felt like I could never get enough air. Now, for the first time in a long while, I feel relieved and eager. The synth weave produced by this prototype won't provide combat effectiveness, but I will continue to explore possible applications. Perhaps Ikora could use it for disguising her hidden. With more tensile strength, it could reduce maintenance time on Red Jacks. I, I don't know what discoveries lie ahead, but I'm eager to find them. Thank you, Guardian. I can't express what this means to me. Now, shall we give it a try? Guardian, I greet you in the light. We should learn from your example. We struggle to make a home under this endless night. Supplies spoil more quickly. The air reaches life from all we have. I have never seen corruption like this. It is unknown to me. When you are ready, I will guide you to where the Vex are most vulnerable. They are difficult to predict. They do not behave as they should. I think they guard powerful secrets. Tighten your gauntlet, and let us take them. The splice is complete. Enter quickly. This warrior here could be the key to victory over the Vex and the Fallen. Humanity is behind you. I don't know if I ever told you, Ikora. But I'm proud of the leader you become. It's just a shame you fail to heed more conventional wisdom. Such as? Cauterize all contact with the darkness, lest you risk infestation. Just because you can't see the shears, Osiris, doesn't mean I'm not pruning dead branches. We have already surrendered too much. Now they want more. Meat, cloth, medicine. People in the city need these things. We ask for no more than you can give. This endless night, it drains us. Our resources are spread too thin. What you give to them, you'll take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. Koro was firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. Our own people. Lakshmi was right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vex. To aid the Guardian. Same as you. Yes? Do not start with this. Tell me, Mithras. Were I in one of your cities, would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. I see. <laughs> you are fighting for your people, as I would fight for mine, yes? It is true. Split the supplies as Ikora says. Anything to make this false night pass more quickly. Interesting. Osiris, to 
of a saint. Oh, I wanted to shout. Have you been beneath the great machine so long that you cannot survive without its bounty? But fear stops my words. Yes, my Elixni are here, warm, safe, inside high walls. But this endless night, it is like a weapon. It attacks the heart. An invisible foe sieges your people, so they look desperately for an enemy. And after so long with nothing, my people finally have something to lose. Please, Guardian, seize more data from the Vex and let us shatter this foul night for the sake of all. People of the Last City, Commander Zavala and I have been touched by the generosity and kindness you've shown toward our new Elixni neighbors. We also understand the reluctance some have shown toward their resettlement. To those who mistrust our arrangement, let me remind you that this very city was founded by refugees. We sought shelter not only from alien aggressors, but from other humans, the bandits and warlords that profited from our suffering. So it is with the Elixni. For the first time in our shared history, we need the Elixni, and they need us. Together with Mithrax and his sacred splicers, we can end the endless night. But only if we stand united for the betterment of all. I greet you in the light, Guardian. I was given a message about Lakshmi too. She of the future war cult. Osiris wishes that she gains full access to the Vex data you gather. I agreed. I hope my cooperation will show her we are not like the old houses. I have heard the transmission she records for the city's people. And I know she is... skeptical of the Elixni. I hope to make trust with her. There are rumors she uses Vex technology to look upon tomorrow. This is dangerous, forbidden by my people. But if it will show her we walk together in peace, I will give her all that she asks. After studying the data you brought, I have found a new path for you to walk. The Vex gather their forces, but we can break through their security. Enter their realm. Then, use your light. Consecrate their network. Purify it. The Vex will try to stop you, but you are not one who can be stopped. People of the last city, we are governed by a consensus. A democracy where the people have a say over what happens in their city. Or so we thought. But did you agree to shelter a mob of dangerous fallen? The same fallen that spent a century stealing from us, besieging our city, and destroying our families. Did you agree to suddenly forgive and forget? No. I call a raid is hired. Without the people's consent to allow house light inside our walls, these are not the actions of a democratic leader. She claims that this Mithrax can end the Vex curse. Then why has he not done so? Perhaps because he has no such power. Or perhaps because he's simply biding his time. I have gazed into the future using Vex technology and have seen only a strife and conflict with the Fallen. Unless we change course immediately, bloodshed is inevitable. You are bridging the space between reality and possibility, where matter meets will and bends in a prism of light. 
a reality where none but the Vex have ever been. But what you see here is made manifest by your mind, turning Vex consciousness to something tangible. This is no mere simulation. Death in this domain is as real for the Vex as it is for you. What? No. Guardian, the Vex have sensed your presence in the network and are attempting a purge. You must hurry into the domain. A labyrinth of Vex consciousness made manifest. This must be where the Vex designed their architecture before bringing it to reality. We must find a way through this labyrinth to the oppressive mind within. That structure ahead is a note of Vex consciousness. If destroyed, it may reveal a path forward. In order to circumvent the remaining defenses, you must deceive the Vex domain consciousness into thinking you are one of them. You should be able to splice an essence of their consciousness from a destroyed Vex. The oppressive mind emerges. Sever it from this domain. The oppressive mind has shielded itself from intrusion. Try splicing a Vex consciousness into their network to break its defenses. The impossible made possible. You truly are a thing of legends, Guardian. The oppressive mind that commanded this domain is no more. And now this region of the Vex network must collapse. The fabric of reality is beginning to return to its prior state. At last, real progress. This is how we save our people. By tearing apart the veil of night that the Vex have laid over the city. Well done, Lithrax. Thank you. An elite sneed splicer would not have been able to endure this confrontation. And a light bearer without a splicer gauntlet would never have been able to enter this domain at all. The Guardian is a union being. A conduit between two houses. They are proof of what can be accomplished when separate components become a single machine. As Zavala Kel says, stronger, together. Your powers grow to fight the Vex, but still their offense increases. We sacred splicers study the Vex. We learn to move through them like tall grass. But these, they are strange to me. Their focus is unpredictable. This frustrates me. I can see the data streams as you walk through their space. But I cannot see from where they flow. It is as though a fog pushes in from cold water. It could be the soft voice of my doubt here in this false night. But it could be something greater. Something no splicer has encountered before. You must continue to enter their network. Destroy what you find inside. Each victory cuts one of the threads that hold this endless night in place. The Vex will send powerful foes against you. But be not swayed. Keep to the path. The path leads you to me once more, Guardian. This endless night presses down on us all. I hear the city groan with the strain. The dark brings sickness now. Few can find sleep. The people hear of your triumphs against the Vex, but they see only dark skies above. They are being bent, and some may break. I will aid if I can. I will not be proud. But let the citizens see that we are suffering with them. I have faith they will see us for who we are. The light always shines through in the end. But for now, the work must begin again. Go. People. 
people of the last city. The vanguard protects us from enemies outside our walls. But did you know they also protect us from information? Did you know that the fallen unleashed the vex on Europa? That they corrupt our guardians with the poison gift of stasis, tempting them to wield the darkness? These same fallen are now inside our city, at the invitation of the vanguard. Icarabrain knows all this and more. Her hidden spies report as much. Yet she continues to support these false alliances over her own people. Whether her lies are born of malice or incompetence matters not. What matters is that I have gazed into the future and foreseen bodies in our streets. Make no mistake, an invasion is coming. If we are to triumph, we must first take back our city. Do you feel that? The more you explore the Vex domain, the more I feel an all-seeing eye upon us. Ever watchful, ever seeking, we trespass in dimensions not meant for either of us. Have enacted a purge sweep of the domain. We should stay ahead of it. A layer of barriers defends this realm. A mighty fortress that resists brute force. Cunning is the key here, Guardian. That fragment of Vex data can be used to slice a bypass of their security, granting us access to the oppressive mind at this domain's core. I have helped as much as I can. You tread uncharted paths. Solving this enigma is up to you and the skills you have been given. The barrier has destabilized. You will need to continue to chip away at the defenses to destroy it entirely. The oppressive mind rises to face us. Show it the power of a splicer. the Vex have forced upon us. The tapestry of their design continues to fray. But this is far from over. Lakshmi is certain that our continued efforts, combined with future war cults technology, can locate the source of the Endless Night. I am aware of the device Lakshmi uses. Does it not worry you? In what way? It is taxing on its user. To have one's consciousness fractured into countless splinters and rejoined again can be... harrowing. Lashmi is up to the task. This sort of technology is taboo among the Elixni. But perhaps House Light can still offer some assistance. My engineers could improve on the design. Make it easier for Lakshmi. No, no. The, the Black Armory has already provided necessary enhancements for us. Lakshmi will manage, I'm confident. Besides, the less interaction Lakshmi has with your people at the moment, the better. Yes, perhaps... Or perhaps you are right. There's been a disturbance. Sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield, but this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances, and keep tensions low. 
while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. You see what was done. Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside, where they belong. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. Once, in a city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elixni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell, none live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. I believe this is the war strategy humans call Poisoning the town well. Luckily, we have enough ether reserves to last until repairs are made. But this is a worrying sign. When Ikora Ray offered us refuge, we assumed she had the authority to do so. But the longer we stay here, 
The more we wonder if anyone is in charge of this city. Your leaders do not seem to have the loyalty of the people. This instability puts Mizrax Kel in a difficult position. Many in our house were against coming here, but they trusted my father's judgment. Now his messages of tolerance and forgiveness appear naive. Perhaps this was the attacker's goal. This sharing of hatred, as my father would say, is disappointing but not unexpected. Some Elixni believe that guardians prey on us without reason. But as a scribe, I know better. The accusations Lakshmi makes against us are mostly true. Elixni have raided the last city for centuries. They were driven not only by desperation, but by unspoken resentment at the great machine's abandonment. Every Kel since the whirlwind has tried to unify Elixni in opposition to humanity. This warlike mentality has been a weakness. The House of Light tries to unify Elixni with humanity, not against them. And this is how we are received. I'm surprised humans would destroy a representation of the Great Machine. My research with the Awoken suggested that humans revered it as we do. However, my personal observations have not supported that conclusion. I understand the city used to have an official speaker. A sort of cleric who spoke to the Great Machine's will. However, Human records state that role was abandoned after Dominus Gaul sacked the city. To leave the Great Machine without a representative among the people seems... heretical. Many Elixni believe that humanity takes the Great Machine's blessings for granted, just as we once did. Perhaps they're right. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war cult. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen, like a fever, burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war cult will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing through the city? Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No, that will come later, unless I can stop it.
we focus it through the prism of our will. Those who attacked us were blinded by fear, poisoned by venomous words. They were focused badly, bent badly. But they are not truly our enemies. We will not seek vengeance. We are not the monsters some believe us to be. Walking the path of the light takes strength. That is what we will remember tonight, as fear and hunger gnaw at us. As our hatchlings sleep in ashes. I greet you in the light, my friend. There have been no more attacks from inside the walls. I spoke my heart words to all who would hear. We have no anger within us. We will not be led to violence, no matter how wide the path. We now must focus on the facts. The machines do not stop to consider our situation. And neither should you. I can still improve your gauntlet. And your splicer training must continue. Do not waste your energies on us. My Elixni have been through much. But cruel words and thoughtless deeds will not break us. Let us continue our work. This mission has been a success. To in no small part to Mithrax. And never forget that he is the exception, not the rule. Most of the fallen are monsters. Guardians have even seen them eat humans. Is this not true, Saint-14? It's true. I've seen the fallen do this and more. But many things were different back then. I too have heard these stories. Though Alexney Strides prefer silence, it makes pain in my spirit to think on it. But those Alexney were not of house light. We cannot change what they did. We can only promise to be better. Each trespass into this domain is easier for you than the last. I feel you moving through the Vex network as they do, as they are. You are no longer an invader. You are a part of the system. I hope that as you change this place, it is not also changing you. Another bird sweeps through the network. Be cautious. The guts of this dimension churn, digesting all within. This entire place seeks your end. You will need to find a defense against the forces of eradication and entropy at work here. We have broken the oppressive mind. Destroy it. We succeed for a third time, and yet nothing has changed with the Endless Night. Why is that, Mithrax? Each time the Guardian destroys a Vex mind in control of a domain, the remaining Vex carry the leftover burden. And how many of these minds do you think are left to share that burden? That... is unclear. Then we should focus our efforts on finding the central Vex mind guiding them. Osiris, how is that coming along? Slowly. Lakshmi and Mithrax's splicers are diligently working with data the Guardian has recovered. But the Vex mind, at the source of the Endless Night, remains elusive. We need to move quickly. The simulation is draining the city's energy. I won't stand by and watch our lightless civilians continue to suffer. Agora, I don't intend to let that happen. We will work harder. We will find a way. The light provides. I have thought much on Mithrax's story. We do monstrous things to fight monsters. It seems simple then. When the city first formed and titans warred the walls, we 
did not think of our enemies when we fought. We thought only of protecting our people. Survival until the next day, no matter how. To be seen as a, as a terror, a destroyer. To know children tremble in fear at my name and mourn what I have taken from them. This is not the Saint-14 I know. I can never forgive what the old houses did to us. But these are not the old houses. They are dead. What do we gain from more death? This lashing out against defenseless people, it is the act of a coward. Mithrax risked much to trust us. If his House of Light can forgive, perhaps we must try to see the Fallen, Elixni, as they see themselves, or none of us will ever be anything but monsters. We must be more than the enemies of our enemies. I see you have overcome the Vex again. We are both doing what we must. I have not spoken with the Saint. But I believe hearing my story softened him somehow. I saw one of our young run across his path. The Saint raised a hand in greeting. And the Hatchling recoiled and fled. The saint watched it run. The reaction seemed to wound him. I will reach out to this child. She acted out of fear and was unkind. She should know the image of the saint we use to chase evil is only a story. If we are to survive this long night, we must be able to see one another as what we truly are. Alex Nier of the House Light. Here, Misrax now. I know many of you feared this place. You have seen death at the hands of the Guardians. It was right to expect death in their house. What I said, and say again, that if we help them, they will help us. And here we are, alive. It is true that some have attacked our new home. It is true that some try to share their hate with us. It is always so. But if Elixni feel darkness inside, only look up to see great machine, and know that House of Light is blessed. We're all blessed to have such friends in dark times. Humanity will not allow these hateful and ignorant acts to define us. We will prove it by bringing those responsible to justice. Walk the path of hardship with joy in your hearts. Be brave. Guardian, light guides your path. Though I believe darkness lies ahead for you, I expected your assaults to weaken the Vex. But I reach into the network now, and it pulls. Hungry, greedy, like slogging through mud. I felt this when you first walked through the network. You pushed into their system, and something malevolent pushed back. The sacred splicer must know the Vex, must understand what can and cannot be bent, yes. They are like the seasons, or the great seas. They surge and flow like a primal force. They cannot be manipulated. And yet something is doing just that. I do not know what it is, 
or why it has targeted your city. But I see the great machine hanging above, and I worry. This endless night has greater purpose. Be cautious now, Guardian. Darkness is coming for you. Shine your light on the truth. Proceed through the temporal breachway and infiltrate the Vex's sub-network. Focus on the task at hand. Do not be distracted by your senses. Analysis field. Interesting. Stay ahead of it. To think the Vex are able to divide themselves between the material world and this place to engineer their plans. This is not unlike the Ascendant plane, which raises many questions. Once more, the Vex fall into our trap. Destroy them all! Bring this domain crumbling down. Can you feel that? The threads of night unraveling as if a veil is being lifted. The network is laid bare, its threads converging on... What is this? Mithrax, what's wrong? What do you see? An infestation. I have found the Vex at the source of the Endless Night. Quirria, the Dreaming Mind. Its code has been... corrupted by taken magic. Sabathun. We've been played. Quirria has been commanding the other Vex. Poisoning their minds. Directing them at Sabathun's will. The Endless Night is of Sabathun's design. It would seem the Witch Queen has outmaneuvered us. But perhaps she did not count on us seeing her hand so soon. Then we strike now. Miss Rax and I will lead forth. We bring the fight to Coria and crush it! We cannot rush into this. We must find a safe route through the Vex domain where Coria is hiding. Any time we give, it's time for Sabasun to scheme. No scheming, we shoot! I know, Saint, but we have to be careful. Mithrax, will you report your findings to the Guardian back at the helm? If that is your wish. We will fight, and soon. But it will be on our terms, not hers. I wish my news was not so grave. But I can confirm that it is the Taken Vex Mind Quirria at the center of the simulation that plagues this city. Quirria serves the Witch Queen Sabathun. It is she who is responsible for the Endless Night. Are you certain of your data? After all, Sabathun is known for her deceptions. Osiris, I did not know you had access to this channel. I wish to confer with you and the Guardian privately. The Splicers fear Quirria's spirit. Hollow. Calculating. Taken. It lurks between realities as a blade between carapace plates. There is no mistake. How did you miss this? <sighs> In the same way it went unseen by the mighty Osiris. Hmm. If my experience and wisdom can aid you in Quoria's capture, you may have it. Ca 
capture. Kuria is discordant and must be exercised if the great machine sky is to shine again. The things we could learn were we to capture it. Think, Mithrax. Dangerous. Ambitious. Assume capture is successful. Captivity would prove difficult. Safer to eradicate. I will confer with Ikora to find us the best course of action. Of course. Mizrax observes the city's guidance. You and the Guardian speak with Ikora. Elixni will continue to refine a strategy. Guardian, be vigilant. We must consider our discovery of Savathun to be part of her plan. Perhaps she means to sow fear and suspicion among us. I won't allow her to drive us apart. When the time comes, I'll put a spear of light through the Witch Queen's heart myself. For now, I'm overturning all hidden records and full archival access to Osiris, but no one else. Lakshmi claims the Vanguard suffers from a lack of transparency. If she had access to our records, she'd cherry-pick whatever details were necessary to ground her prophecies. I need people I can trust to be objective. Some of our records on Savathun are fabricated truths, I'm sure. But in those lies are the strategies she used to topple the Dreaming City. History won't be repeating itself here. Continue your splicer training with Mithrax. Use it to root Savathun's minions out. We'll reassess the situation when we've located our target. Quirrier lurks at the center of this false night. All threads leading to it are dark and thick, covered in black oil. Your splicer mastery has been growing. The great machine is unknowable. But I believe it acts with purpose. Just as we must act with purpose now. To find a way to reach Quiria and end it. Sacred splicers must see the invisible machinery at work around us to understand its beauty and flaws, and our place within it. I think of my light as a torch, a beacon. Yours, though, I see as a weapon. I say this with respect. From what I know of the great machine, it would not create a weapon without needing to use it. Quiria will be your target. Be ready, for there is no doubt it is. People of the last city, I come to you with an emergency announcement. One that Vanguard leadership wishes to keep from you. Future War Court has learned from Guardian sources that the Endless Night is the work of the Hive God of the Seat. Sabbath. This is a grave development, but we cannot give in to despair. Instead, let it propel us to action. We must demand accountability from Vanguard leadership. We cannot allow Zobala and Ikora Ray to sell our city to the fallen. Point. Enough. This is Ikora Ray. I will not stand by while this hateful rhetoric goes unchallenged. I understand it's hard to put the violence of the past behind us. But the Vanguard's responsibility is to preserve a just peace. Not for some, but for all. Lakshmi would have you live in fear. Fear of the elixir. Fear of the future. But I propose something much stronger. Faith. Faith that bravery is not just a human quality. Faith that we are stronger together. Faith that the Vanguard and our Elixir allies will break the Vex hold on our city. And we'll do it united as one for the good of all.
Guardian, I greet you in the light. Even if darkness hangs overhead, we were correct that an unseen hand was guiding the Vex. Quiria, the dreaming mind, brought this endless night with it. It has been draining the energy from this city. We do not yet know why. Ikora and Osiris have thoughts, but the details do not change the truth. Quiria must be stopped. But first, we must find it. I have reached into its domain, but the Vex forces break my sight. I believe I am close, but I must focus. You, Guardian, strike the Vex now, with great force, so that I may see Quiria through your ripples. It may seek the destruction of your city, or of your vanguard, or something even greater may be at stake. This infinite realm beyond material space is but one of many. The universe holds so many dark and fascinating secrets. If only our eyes were open enough to see them. It appears the Vex would prefer you not to learn anything further at all. You'd better get moving. The oppressive mind has ensconced itself behind a series of data barriers. Remove the barriers and destroy them. I do wonder if the Vex security here is so lacking. Because they never imagined you could reach this place. Because they can't simulate them. Fascinating. Another oppressive mind. Showing the fate of its predecessors. With this victory, the threads of night are further unraveled. And the weaver of this dark tapestry can no longer elude us. I have found a route to Quirius hiding place. It is concealed behind numerous layers of defenses compiled by the Vex. But now we have a target. Something we can hit! I would caution you against underestimating Quoria. Agreed. We must strike carefully. Mitigate Quoria's ability to rally defenses. Then, punch through the network like a white-hot sword of praxic fire. We can do this. Together. Together. Osiris, there is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi, she came to me with a proposal. Are you taking over as Titan Vanguard? She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good, good. Only words, of course. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not seek authority. Zavala may have a beautiful desk, but he is chained to it. We could use less bureaucracy, maybe. A more proactive strategies, where we reclaim ground taken from humanity. An open council in the city to speak with the citizens. Ah, I have imagined a new vanguard, led by us. Led by you? I would stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fantasy only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it so she would go away. The words ugh, tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering it. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin next. And after what happened with Kaito... I understand. Later, we will speak more of this. It appears Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. I will report her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. 
With the endless night and the elixir here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spark and it could be the end of the vanguard. into this realm. I did not believe you could achieve what you have, invading a domain of vexed consciousness like this. Yet, here you are, embodiment of the impossible. Somehow, in spite of everything you've accomplished, I managed to underestimate you. I won't make that mistake again. It seems the Vex are content to keep throwing the same defenses at you. Get into the domain, Guardian. This is a VEX disintegration domain. Eradicating unneeded simulation data and abandoned terraforming projects. Beware those barriers. They will destroy all matter they touch. Venture deeper, Guardian. The VEX are on alert, but their defenses have not fully come online. Once more, the VEX fall into our snare. The domain's master is yours. Destroy it! 
The end is here. The path to Quoria opens. A night end is in sight. Destroy Quoria, and the Witch Queen will be forced into retreat. The Vex lose guidance. This network becomes unmanaged. Ikora has taught how Guardians cornered the Undying Mind not long ago. With her wisdom and Elixney's splicers, we have plan devised. Drag Quoria from hiding. May its last thought be of fear of you. This is it, Guardian. Payback for the Dreaming City. For our city. For everyone. Quoria has shielded itself in multiple layers of the domain. It hides a festering rot deep within the core of this network. Savathun's eye is upon us now. I can feel her. It is as if this moment was unavoidable. Fated. But you have shown me there is only the destiny we make for ourselves. Nothing more. Go, Guardian. Walk in the light. Quoria has retreated to the layers of security, mirroring domains you have previously collapsed. The challenges you face here are the very ones you faced as you honed your splicer powers. You are ready for this. Our hopes rest on you. Quoria rages against your presence. I can feel the sickening rot of the Taken's power shuddering through this domain. The Vex, too, struggle against the yoke of oppression laid on them by Quoria. Our enemy hides behind others and uses them as pawns. Just get coward is no no end. Not much water now, Guardian. We are all here. We believe in you. Quoria is close. The taken corruption in this Vex domain is deep. I can feel its infection through their systems. Fingers of darkness grasping, searching. Be careful, Guardian. Quoria. Blade Transform. The Dreaming Mind. This is it! Fight with everything you have! Let's guide you. Unbelievable. Quarian is gone. A great evil vanquished. A deed of legends. <laughs> I knew it! I knew we could do this! Congratulations, Guardian! This victory it is monumental! Let's not uncork every bottle of champagne in the city just yet. Osiris is right. This is a monumental victory for humanity and Elixir. But it's a battle, not the war. Even so, victory should be cherished. Yes, Mithrax is correct. We will have a party, a celebration. A small one, but respectful. Very classy. I will wear a suit. Finding Quiria at the center of the endless night confirms our worst suspicions. It was the arm Savathun used to strangle our city. With it docked, to borrow an elixir term. We purged Savathun from the Vex domain. I only hope we stopped her in time. The Dreaming Mind's defeat, as with so many things Vex, is a process. It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the Vex network. In the meantime, Osiris is focused on collecting all the data we have on Savathun, separating small truths from the many layer of lies. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our comprehension. I want to know what she hoped to gain. I thought I might ask Lakshmi for her assistance, but that device she uses. By Osiris's description, it's used to align one's consciousness with other temporal realities and has driven many war cultists insane. The visions it shows her, they cloud her judgment. Even now, she believes the Elixni will be the cause of some great catastrophe. Osiris seems to think he can get through to her. He understands the technology. He understands her perspective, 
but I can only give him so much time. Ah, oh, Guardian. I wanted to be among the first to send my regards. Your victory today has lifted a great weight from my chest. I feel like I can breathe again. I hope you're not too proud to accept my praise. Even though we may not see eye to eye. Pride is a dangerous affliction. It is clear I Korra suffers from it. And yes, I know, I do as well. Do you see? I can admit when I am wrong which is more than I can say for some of our current leaders. The city deserves someone who acts, someone who does what is right, even if it is unpopular. After all, you destroyed Quaria against the wishes of countless Vex. You did what had to be done to protect your city. You acted bravely. I admire you for that. You and I, we will speak more when this ugliness is behind us. After the fallen have returned to space, and this endless night is a memory. Our city could use more heroes. Vanguard will not. I will tear open a rift. Banish the fallen to the depths of space from where they came. We alone will save humanity. I have seen the darkest of futures. And with this act, I will. No. No. Lock 
Lakshmi 2 has opened a Vex portal in the Elixni Quarter. All fire teams, find and close that incursion point. Mithrax, what's your status? We are overrun. Please, we cannot hold them off for much longer. Do not worry, Mithrax, I am on my way! No, you must protect your people. You are my people! Vex, inside the walls of the last city. How could this happen? How could Lakshmi do this? We need this incursion ended. Now, before any more lives are lost. The network entrance is vulnerable. We data into the terminal to overload the Vex defenses. The Vex attempt to lock out the terminal. Destroy countermeasures to keep it operating. The network attempts to re-encrypt, disrupt the password sequence, and continue the splice. Osiris, what's your position? Osiris? Earth's defenses have been reset, but like circuits, they can be overloaded. Continue the assault. He was right behind me! I have lost him! Osiris, respond! LXC have feared the Guardian ferocity for centuries. Turn your fury on the banks. Not let the machine spawn divert your attention. Keep it fixed on the terminal. The Vortex resists manifestation. A final surge of data will force it into being. I sense the Vex mind. It lashes out with something like desperation. They are coming for you. Complete the final unlock sequence to manifest the Vortex. The splice is complete. Enter quickly. Another day from those who will take it, but not without loss, and not alone. Elixni, Mithras, they stood with us, brothers and sisters in battle. 
This is a bond that cannot break. Their lost will be buried beside our own. Ikora was wise to look to our future instead of the past. We must remember that it is the Elixni who came to us, laid down arms for a chance at peace. These are not the fiends Lakshmi made them out to be. That bravery demands respect and deserves recognition. The House of Light is part of the city now, under the protection of Saint-14. In time, the memories of our past demons will fade, and our peoples will share laughter and stories. Our victory today will be one of them. More famous than Twilight Gab, I will make sure of it. Look at the city. The skies are slowly clearing, but the streets are filled with dead Vex, dead Elixni and our people. Future war cult has scattered to the wind, but we recovered Lakshmi's body from the site of the attack. In the end, she was right about the tragedy looming on our horizon. If only she could have foreseen that it was of her own making. Now Dead Orbit has finally made good on its promise to leave the city, and take a new monarchy with it. The factions are no more, Honestly, I will miss their presence here. After all, Lakshmi did not speak for the future war cult. Some of her own people warned me she was becoming unstable, and I feel I let her slip away. I haven't told Saint yet, but I've been unable to locate Osiris. Even though Lakshmi implicated him in the attack, I don't believe he did. Osiris is a good man. Saint and I will both vouch for him. All he has to do is return to the city to clear his name. I saw the blight that was forming in our own citizens, but I never thought it would lead us here. Eris once said, we will only know our enemy's next move if we are wise enough to recognize it. My eyes are wide open now. Stay ready. People of the last city, I have some troubling news to share. As some of you know, a portal was opened in the Elixni quarter of the city, allowing Vex to breach our walls for the first time. Thankfully, Guardians, working together with Elixni Splicers, were able to repel the assault. We've since discovered that Lakshmi II, former leader of the future war cult, was responsible for the security breach. Regrettably, Lakshmi was killed by Vex during the assault. It seems that the other faction leaders were culpable, if not responsible. Executor Hideo and Arak Jalal have fled, taking the remainder of their factions with them. In their absence, we are now one people. Stronger, thanks to our alliance with the House Light. House of Light is forever in your debt. You stood by us when we had no one. Now, we stand by the people of the last city. In the grace of the Traveler, come what may. The Light provides. The Light provides. This day is marked by glory and sadness. Today, our kin Elixni and Human went together into the House of Silence. There, they are united in the Light. Our House believes that Light flows through all. Through the Great Machine. And through you, Guardian. Though we will see the Silent never again, we will carry them with us. Always.